Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about six different ways to prepare your car for winter. Like this. This is winter. Now this video is brought to you by AC Delco, who is an original equipment supplier for all GM vehicles like this Buick Regal GS all-wheel drive, which I happen to be testing. They make all kinds of stuff like batteries, wipers, spark plugs, oil filters, and so on, and their parts can be used on all makes and models. So let's go ahead and get into our six topics. Now the first thing I'd like to talk about is the battery, because if your car doesn't start, then none of the other points really matter. Batteries come with a cold cranking amps rating, or CCA. This is the amount of amps a battery can deliver while at a temperature of 0 degrees Fahrenheit for a duration of 30 seconds. What's important to realize is that a smaller battery may be sufficient in warm weather, but it may not have enough juice to power up an engine in cold weather. That's not to say that more CCA is always better, as larger batteries will weigh more and cost more. This is something you really only need to pay attention to if you live in a location with cold temperatures. If your battery is starting to get old, you may also need to consider replacing it as it may not have the cold cranking amps it once had when you originally bought it. The next topic to discuss is tires, and this is probably the most important subject for winter driving. First of all, as the temperature outside drops for winter, your tire pressure drops as well, so you'll need to ensure the tires are properly inflated. Second, summer or even all season tires have compounds that become hard in super cold temperatures. These are the summer tires I run on my Subaru during the warmer months, and when temperatures drop for the season, I switch over to winter tires for better traction. Now obviously if you have traction to accelerate, you want to make sure you can stop as well, which brings us to topic number three. It's a good idea to check out your brake pads and rotors and make sure there's plenty of life left in them and have them replaced if they're getting towards the end of their life or inspected if you're unsure. Often you can simply look through the wheel at the brake pads to see if there's sufficient pad material left and many pads are designed with a wear indicator which creates audible screeching to inform you the pad is in need of replacement. Topic number four is engine oil and this one may not be quite as obvious. Everyone probably knows there's a recommended oil grade for your car, and typically this can be found on the fill cap. If not, check the owner's manual. What's not as commonly known is that some engines will recommend different viscosity grades depending on the climate you live in, so it's important to check the owner's manual to know what oil you should be using based on where you live. For example, this is the owner's manual of my Acura Integra, and as you can see a different oil grade may be used if the area you live in never drops below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Next is wiper blades, which probably is fairly obvious. You want to make sure your wipers are in good condition for the various precipitation which will be hitting your windshield. Look for worn or cracked rubber or streaking or skipping across the windshield. If this is the case, they likely need to be replaced. And finally, number six, it's always a good idea to keep an ice scraper in the vehicle. Now, if you don't have one in the car with you and your windshield is frosted over, I like to simply use a card out of my wallet to scrape things off if I'm in a hurry. Maybe a grocery card that isn't too important if I ruin it. As far as AC Delco parts, you can order them from retail outlets or you can bring your car into an AC Delco professional service center and have someone make sure your car is prepped for winter. I've included links to locate a service center in the video description, so feel free to check those out. As always, you can leave your questions and comments below. Thanks for watching.